why do we pick Rome? Rome is almost like a person. It has its own life story uh, for us to look at. Simultaneously, we aspire to be the best of what we know about Rome, and also we worry about being the worst of what we know about Rome. And that tension between aspiring to be the best and worrying about being the worst is kind of, to me, the key of why Rome is still current and why Rome is still important. In the wake of the terrorist attacks of September 11th, 2001, there was a fear um, that the, the increasing power of the president in managing our military affairs abroad was not appropriate for a Republican government. And uh, that, I think, is at the real center of the new interest in ancient Rome. The Roman Empire declined and fell in 476 CE. Uh, what that really means um, is that at a certain point the structure of the Roman state underwent a, a large collection and a series of transformations. Um, the project of the expansion of the Roman state was about getting people involved in the idea that we're all part of this one big um, community of, of Roman citizens. Of course, we're talking at the, at the upper level. We're talking at the level of, of, of sort of the ruling classes. Um, what happens when the Roman Empire falls, if you like, is that those same ruling classes say, you know, we like the Roman state. We like the idea of the Roman state. We like the idea of being Roman. Um, but it doesn't need to be focused on Rome anymore. We can be Roman um, at home. Um, did it fall? Well, it changed. Many people have debated the causes of the, quote, decline of Rome, and they've dated it at different points. The general idea is that Rome fell because of two things. Rome fell because the civic virtue of its citizens declined. Over time, uh, the Romans became gorged on their conquests of the ancient Mediterranean. The elite classes became excessively luxurious. They began to think first of themselves and not of ancient Rome. This weakened the moral fiber of Rome and made it susceptible to attack by outside forces, which the Romans called barbarians. Um, and this eventually happened in, in the 5th century AD. And a lot of Americans have wondered whether we are an empire just like Rome. Um, and so they make comparisons between what is probably one of the most famous things about ancient Rome, which is the incredibly well-trained Roman army. And I think that um, there is some cause for comparison. Um, the American military is very powerful, but the addition of air power on top of that and the presence of nuclear arms makes the comparison begin to fall apart a little bit. We really do have much more military power than Rome ever could have dreamed of in the wildest dreams of its emperors. It's pretty easy to draw parallels, isn't it? It's pretty easy to be able to say um, Rome was a, a, a militarily dominant state with a, um, a cultural hegemony um, that was in many, many ways driven by its, its economic strength, its economic might. Given these assumptions, given the fact that we are convinced that Rome fell, um, how much should we be worried? And how should we be worried? And, and in, in what ways? I think what we're doing now is we're saying, oh my goodness, this is, this, is, this is a moment where we need to take stock. We need to look at ourselves. We need to look at the complexity of our society. We need to look at the, um, the very worrying um, extremes that we feel like we're going to. Um, and we need to find some way of either making ourselves feel better about that or making ourselves feel worse about it. And again, Rome works in both, in both ways, but at the moment the, the strength um, seems to be um, making ourselves feel worse about it. Um, we are all of a sudden concerned that the model that we have of Rome is going to happen for us, it's going to happen to us. The thing about ancient Rome is that we don't know the fate of the the empire um, in, in the end. The, the causes of the decline of the empire or the fall of the empire are up for debate. And so since we don't know, that sparks our own debate. By saying, are we Rome, are we going to fall? We put the set of questions and the worries onto a bigger stage. 
um, and we place ourselves into history in a way that we want to be in history. We can talk about it endlessly and then in the end you just have to see what comes down the pipeline. We don't know.